Welcome to the Marist Minute, presented by Marist Center for Sports Communication. Alongside William Rosen, I'm Tommy Armstrong, and we'll be giving you a look at Marist results over the last couple of weeks. We'll start with women's soccer against Quinnipiac. Women's soccer heads to Camden, looking to get a win as they face 7-3 rival Quinnipiac. Maris down for the entirety of the first half until Amanda Calderelli fires a missile into the back of the net, scoring the lone goal for the Foxes. The Bobcats are too much for Quinnipiac as they fall 6-1. Men's cross country competed in the IC4A championships last weekend. Through a long and intense race, sophomore Gabriel Rodriguez led the Red Foxes with a top half finish out of 310 finishers. Along with Rodriguez, senior Jeremy Umbogo came in 151st, and freshman Sean Deary came in 199th to put up a great showing for the Red Foxes. The Red Foxes are on a seven-game win streak. Sasha Vandermeerva leads the MAC in total kills. The last point of the set, Maris down 24-18. The ball is set up for Casey Semenov, spikes it, and Sally Tegan gets the dig. But miscommunication causes the Foxes to lose the set, then lose the match 3-1. Men's and women's swimming and diving defeated Canisius in this season's opener. Maris did it in dominant fashion with the men's team outscoring Canisius 196 to 84 behind first place finishes from Adam Zaremba, James Conable, and Ethan Gibbs. The women's team followed suit with a 165 to 129 point victory from first place finishes from Maddie Healy, Melanie Nunn, and Kira Kavicki. Maris looking for a surge on defense as they host Fairfield. They have to stop Maddie Theralt, who is tied for first in the mat with six goals. Scoreless affair under five minutes remaining. The ball hits the crossbar. Maris is able to clear it away and escape the late danger. The score ends with a tie. Women's cross country headed into UVM for the Fall Foliage Invitational. Sophomore Parker O'Brien led the women with third place overall. Along with her sophomore teammate Sierra Fisher placed sixth, and freshman Mallory Halloway came in 13th. All three women recorded great times at the meet, leading to a second place finish for the Red Foxes. Alongside Tommy Armstrong, I'm William Rosen. We say thank you for tuning in to the Maris Minute. Take care.